let me just say this. Age shamers are people who are not comfortable with their age. Age shamers are ashamed of their age. They just want you to be ashamed of yours. Or these individuals are used demonically to, to control you emotionally, getting you triggered. So how do you remove the trigger from those who trigger you? Number one, you got to see beyond what you see. How is this person being demonically used? How could this person be demonically used? What are their motives? What are their intent intentions? Listen, 30 is not old. I'm 38. I mean, when I was 32 or 31, I was talking to this older lady and I was like, man, um, I'm or something about being old. And that woman said, I'm twice your age. You a baby. I said, I'm a baby. I'm still wet behind the ears. Like I'm still, oh, I'm still young. Like I'm 38, almost 40. I could be like other 40 year olds and be like, oh man, I'm about to be 40. No, 40 still young. So you dismantle their control, you dismantle their uh, power over you by shifting your perspective about your age, your age shaming you. Once you stop age shaming you, nobody can age shame you. So now you got to look at your age and ask yourself, how do you honestly feel about your age? And shift your perspective. My sister, you're young. I'm 38 and I young people's perspectives are wrong and they're unbiblical a child was never meant to go into the world at 18 ill prepared that's a societal norm that's not a kingdom norm society society says when they're 18 you got to be out of mouths no we're sending people into the world ill prepared people's view of 30 is bad Right now, people's view of 25 is bad. People feel like when they're 25 and they're not a millionaire and not taking pictures in front of jets and, and they're not eating in Paris, they think they're a failure. That's not, the, that's not the norm. That's abnormal to think that 30 is old. That's abnormal. So now you got to unplug the way you think out of the world system and begin to see yourself the way you are. You're Young, don't blame. I wouldn't even look at the other people's age shamers. You're age shaming you. So now you got to look at you and ask yourself, what about my age do I not like? It's okay to be 30 and not marry. It's okay to be 30 and not have a child. You know why? Because I too was 30 and not married. I too was 30 without a child. You, you have a lot of time. I don't care if you 40, 50, 50, anything is possible. So now you got to shift the way you see you and your age. You are young. Do something with your youth. The reason why people get into their 40s and 50s is because they make too much out of their age versus making something out of their stage. Stop looking at your age and look at your stage of life and ask yourself, what does God want to me, want me to present from the stage that I'm on in my life right now? Because what you do on this stage will determine what you do in this age. And I believe this will age well for you. Bobby says women are told after 35, you're not. Who? Who determines that? Who? Anybody who says that is not worth listening. Listen to me. On behalf of the God that created you, you're not washed up as a woman over 35. God still has use of you. I don't care. 38 is not too late. You actually, you just not. Listen. My wife and I didn't have our daughter until we was, what, 37, 38 or 36, 37. My wife and I didn't get married until we was 33 and 34. The older you get, the better your perspectives, the better you are as a detective should be. The more introspective, the more you're able to, to be proactive because you're more mature now. But listen, if you're 38, or not talking about you, but if you're 38, 30, with the 18 year old mentality, my friend, you got to catch up to the stage and age of your life right now. 
That's right. As a man thinketh in their heart, so are they. Don't let the world define you. Thank you, messenger. She gave us a message, he or she. The messenger has a message. As a woman, as a man thinketh in their heart, so are they. How do you think about you? You got to see yourself as God's beloved. You got to see yourself fearfully, wonderfully made. You got to see yourself young, vibrant. The world has bad definitions because the world didn't make nothing. The world has bad definitions because they don't have the original. Hope that helped, newbie. So I hope that encouraged you to stop age shaming you.